What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another reaction video. And today we got CJD Champ, Beyonce Straight, Baki Edition. Now look, there's a little bit of history I need to know about True God. There was a time that True God was on Beyonce Straight. There was a time that I was a delinquent. There was a time I was a bad child. But that time was Beyonce's. Roll the clip. Your arms will remain at your sides. You will look straight ahead. Yes. That little boy in that white shirt is me. I'm a little bit lighter now. A little bit more pretty. I don't know how the hell I turned out like this. I'm cute now. I look good. But back in the day, I was a different person. Now a lot of y'all gonna be like, hmm, true guy. What did you do to get on Beyond Scare Straight? If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you bust like button, subscribe, turn on that bell, let's get straight into the video. I ain't telling nobody. So dude plays this video on the TV and is this nigga at his house? God, that's a nigga's wife and kids. Yo, this man is disrespectful as shit. Look at his face right now. You know he's oh, like- Oh, he's censoring no, everything. Like, your wife, right? Oh, oh yeah. I didn't know this nigga Bush was in the NTR. CJ the champ. CJ the champ. Ladies and gentlemen, I know y'all missed that, so I had to just throw it in there real quick. Special video. Because, uh, you see, we're going to jail. I Wait, what? We're going Actually, where? Not even jail. We're going to maximum security prison. I was talking to us. Boy, Baki done got locked up. What do you do, man? What do you do? What do you do, man? Yeah, today we're going to be taking a tour of the Arizona State Prison. Because, goddamn, this place reeks of Black Air Force energy. Because some of these niggas are the definition of built different. But, ladies and gentlemen, Please sit back and relax as we dive Yo, these into pictures the of CJ are hilarious. We will observe pure ignorance, nigga, like that, nigga, and the art of throwing hands on this. Yo, why are they body goes. built like that? Y'all, they body just built. Hmm? Oh, man, I remember those days, man. I remember those days. The jail cell. All right, y'all. So before we get into the prison, we got to understand uh, how the hell this nigga Baki even get locked up in the first place. I thought he was a kind little soul, but apparently he's a menace. Shit, he gonna Low key, like Baki kind of cute, y'all. Like At the beginning of the season, there's a press conference going on because the African army was fighting a ginormous oversized African elephant. That is that was a god? Terrorizing the entire is that elephant a god? Right here is the sole survivor. So these reporters are wondering, okay, bro, you're the sole survivor. So how the hell did y'all kill the damn thing? And this nigga's like, shit, it wasn't us. It was a nigga that killed that shit. A man in all black appeared and killed that fat ass oversized elephant with his bare Bro, the elephant hands. sound called me off guard. You could just guess who did this shit. Bro, I don't know what this man Yujiro is at this point. Now he's out here killing he's still alive? oversized African elephants and then he ate the nigga. Hey, you can't be mad at it. You can't be mad. Protein. And then look at her smart ass with her Karen ass cut. Do you expect us to believe this? Bitch, you better believe it before he come for your ass next. So then dude gets Bitch, you better like, believe it. I say to the facts, I'm done talking to y'all niggas. Hey, oh, he, no hey, hey, hey he a real nigga. He a real nigga. He said, if y'all don't believe me, y'all had to believe me. Like, <laughs> who fault is that? I, I feel him on that one, bro. He stated what it was. Show they ain't believe him. Walk the fuck out. Simple as that. Walk the fuck out. I do that all the time. He's like, look, I say to the facts, I'm done talking to y'all niggas and hey, i ain't even gonna lie bro if i was in his situation i would do the same damn thing like if i saw a nigga kill an african elephant with his bare hands I, what the f am i supposed to tell you yeah man i saw a nigga kill a fat ass elephant the other day with his bare hands yo are these new pictures of like, cj this nigga dumb but in the baki universe shit i believe anything so now we cut to this little kid getting i fucking love cj like, bro hey, little nigga, uh, go in there in that high school right there and go fight the biggest nigga you can find so then he goes into the high school and runs into these three niggas that do not look like high schoolers at all those are not Jesus high schoolers Christ. bro those are grown like, men he's pushing 33 so then his little flimsy ass pulls out the shank it, and then they just start laughing at the nigga so then he's trying to talk to him but they like say it with your chest nigga so bro is shitting bricks right now but he's like <laughs> Please, please, you're not the strongest guy. CJ, like, chill out, man, chill out. Oh, you have to do him like that, man. You have to do him like that. Nigga. So then they cut outside to the kids, and the kids like, I right, bro. They said, after school, I got to go to the Tama River. Big homie said, they'll bring the strongest high schooler in the world to you. Just don't be a bitch. And of course, these little badass baby ass kids laughing and shit. Oh, but they ain't going to be laughing soon. So they go to the river, and there he is. Son to the biggest menace on planet Earth. And look at that oh, little badass they kids. brought out this. This nigga. Man, little homie pull out the knife and Baki like, so you gonna use that small ass knife? I right, bet. I ain't holding back then. This man is dead serious, ready to run the ones with a child. <laughs> Look at little homie. He's like, oh my God. This nigga he is about serious. to run the ones with a child. Then Baki asks him, 
Can you swim? He's like, he about uh, to throw him in the little, water. Like, he's like, bet. So bro flash steps and shoots the living <laughs> Christ. Oh my God. He imprinted his hand on his ass. <laughs> he did that. Bro skip on water. Yo, he really hit that kid with full force. <laughs> So then Baki befriends the kid, but then Yujiro's personal chauffeur Stridum comes out of nowhere. But then he's like, hey, you know your dad did just kill like an African elephant the size of a dinosaur, right? So that means uh, he accepted your challenge. So it looks like Baki and Yujiro are gonna go at it for round two. Hopefully you don't go like round one. How many times have they like, fought, oh, bro? What the gone. fuck? Baki just How long has this been going it? on? It's all good, bro. It's just a father-son fight. But Stridum's like, nigga, you don't know shit. This is like two countries fighting each other. So Baki's like, all right, bro, I gotta find a way. I ain't gonna lie, Baki getting kind of cute. Ugh, I like that man. Look at, look at. Ghost How? of Mike Tyson? And he's taking three Yo, what the f in the Casper is going on right now? Bro is fighting a ghost of Mike Tyson Yo, and is taking Mike, damage. Yo, Mike, did you oh, approve of this? He could get even crazier, right? This man starts. He's still alive. A praying Mantis oh damn, this is Kung Fu Panda. Okay, I get it. Where is this bitch? I just said that, CJ! I just said that! I, I just don't question anything anymore in this show. So now we cut to America and they got this parade going on and we got President Bosch? B George no, this W. Bosch. So while the parade is going on, they end up losing the signal. And that nigga Bush is gone. Oh this fuck, man someone- just straight snatched that nigga. Wait, why? Damn, what? Secret Service, y'all niggas ass. How the f you could basically let a damn child take the fucking president? Bro, he's not a child, bro. He's an alien, bro. Baki does not exist for real, for real, bro. He, he's an service. alien. So Baki ends up having tea with this nigga and Bush, like, uh, you realize that you just kidnapped the president of the US of A, my nigga, right? And Baki, like, hell yeah, I know. Shit, I meant to get caught. So Bush asks, what is Baki's demands? And this man, Baki, says, the US Arizona State Prison? Yeah, lock me up, nigga. Is this nigga serious? He really wants to go to jail? Wait, wait, wait. You kidnapped me so you can get locked up to fight this nigga Biscuit and you don't want no money or no bitches? He's the weakest ass demands I've ever heard. Yo, this man Baki is really taking training guards to another level. This man said, fuck a hyperbolic Bro, he's so fucking cute. Nigga, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We want it real quick. Look, look at his face, y'all. Let's look, look, take a moment to appreciate Taking training guards to another level. This man said, fuck a hyperbolic time chamber, nigga. I'm nigga going cute. to prison. So our boy Baki gets arrested. He gets locked up. The nigga's guilty. That nigga is what guilty. trial? And he gets incarcerated into the Arizona he, State Prison. He should have got like a reverse pardon. Like he should have just got in jail. <laughs> What the fuck did the trial so consist goes of? Baki to the warden's office and speaks with the warden. And man's is like, I heard about you, boy. Heard you wanted to fight that nigga Biscuit, Mr. Unchained. Mr. Unchained. This man is called Unchained is because he can leave the prison whenever the hell he want to. So basically, this whole place is his house. And yo, look at the treatment this nigga is getting in prison. Why look is he? Look at this he... big motherfucker. He almost broke the chair. So Baki wants to run the hands with Biscuit, but Biscuit explains that there's a ranking system up in this prison. There's 471 other niggas that want to run the hands. Hunter X, Hunter, like, uh, Hunter, Hunter. But Baki decides, you know what, the ranking system, nigga. I just want to throw the hands with you right now. So bro just whacks him in the face, but. <laughs> oh, he, he a demon. That oh, he a demon. Nigga. Oh, he's Who's a demon. Him, blood? Don't catch me with that weak shit. So Baki gets sent to a cell and apparently. Is he like the, the warden? The goddamn inmate warden? Warning God the fuck so down. as he enters the cell, he sees his first cellmate and it's Iron Michael. Oh my God, nigga, that's Mike Tyson. So Baki Again. asked Mike, hey, yo, I know you gotta be number Mike, two. Nigga, are you, you Mike getting Tyson. But this man paid Mike for says, this? Nah, I ain't even in the top 10. At this point, Mike Tyson, are you getting paid for this disrespect? Uh, 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 this nigga, Mike That Tyson, is definitely Mike Tyson, bro. bro. I don't give a fuck. Monsters. Fucking fiends, you got locked up in this bitch. Nigga, what the fuck is this? Arkham? Who y'all got locked up here? Fucking Clayface? Killer Croc? Nigga, Bane down there or some shit? Bane no, has to be down Joker there, bro. How are you not top Bane? 10? So then they wake up next morning and it's time for roll call. And this big Sasquatch ass nigga gotta be like 7-7. Seven, seven. And Baki thinks that, okay, this gotta be number two. But nah, Sasquatch goes over to the locker and says, hey, yo, second, wake the up. So Check this out. nigga comes out the casket like Vincent who is it? Valentine. Who is it? Like, yo, this pretty ass nigga. nigga. Who is this again? Like, did this nigga just come out the locker? No, no, no. Wait, why? Wait, wait. Sleep in the locker. He slept in the locker. Oh, this man different. Oh yeah. He don't want no bed, bro. I lay him down though. Hey yo. 
This man says, I'm a warrior. Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Is that boy, Duke? No way, boy. Now, now, ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to really think really hard about this. This nigga is in prison uh -huh. and said that I'm, I'm a, a warrior. warrior. So he's the booty this, warrior. This reminds you of a very notorious prisoner booty warrior. that said this shit before. I'm, I'm a warrior. I like, like you. you. And I want you. Now, we can you can do, do this, this the easy way or the hard way. way. The choice is yours. You yeah, feel me? Ain't no fucking way, bro. Ain't no fucking way this shit is actually happening right it now. It is. This nigga's a booty. And he's, a, and he's in the locker. And he's in the locker. He came out the locker. Oh, so essentially, he came out the closet. He came out the closet, y'all. He said, I'm a warrior. He was locked up in the locker. He came out the locker. He came out the closet. I'm just putting the pieces together for y'all, y'all. I'm just putting the pieces together for y'all, y'all. I'm just putting the pieces together for y'all. Oh, nigga, you best not drop the soap. So why they're Don't do that. Don't drop it. Mm -hmm. the prison. This man Gavar is doing whatever the hell he want to. Man smoking a whole sick while he's giving a whole debrief. So then he goes over and asks Mike, hey yo, what's for breakfast? And Mike tells him pork and beans, but he can't talk, so he gets sucked by the police officer. Bro, he dead ass made this man get sucked. Cause Gavar would have beat his ass if he didn't say shit. So he just went ahead and That's just fucked took up. the beating from the CEO. He oh, oh my set God, him up. Bro, that is so fucked. He set him up, bro. So yeah, Gavar, aka the second coming of the booty war. Where did he get the gun from? Like, bro, what is he doing to this spoon right now? So this big <laughs> MF tried to fight him, but it, it, it did not go so well for this nigga. And look how disrespectful this is. Whoa. He grabs the officer's gun. Puts it in his hands and he's like, all right, hold on tight. Make sure to shoot me real good with that shit, nigga. Pop me, nigga. But right before he pulled the trigger, he cocks oh, ah, his ah. Oh my God. And, and that nigga's decommissioned. So after he kicked the dude in the dick, he's like, hey, yo, guards, uh, I want an after school exercise with this nigga. So they have a sumo match and bro, this man can't even pick him up. So then he grabs a piece of his hair, sticks it in his ear. Oh and my God. Literally killed his eardrums so dude fell over and it was raps so after Gavar leaves oh, the off yeah he's a warrior he's a warrior he won he's a warrior that that is disgusting he just fucked his old eardrum up he just fucked his ear he got ear fucked y'all he got ear fucked at this point if you want to keep it what it is he got ear fucked y'all he definitely just got ear fucked he put that thing in his ear and blood came out he got ear fucked a piece of his hair sticks it in his ear and it literally killed his eardrums so it dude fell over and his ear raps. so after Gavar leaves the officer comes over to big <gasps> like, hey yo uh why are you up in here alone i know you see that sign you blind motherfucker so then he pops dude in the back of yo the God. Damn it, he says, yeah, I, I warned him. No, no, you smoked that nigga with no warning. So Guevara comes back to the lunchroom, and while everybody's leaving, Baki tries this is to crazy. talk to Guevara, but the cop comes in and starts swinging. But he ate that shit and grabbed his baton. Ayo. This nigga does the same shit he did with the spoon. Yo, when did Baki graduate from shit talking university? Yes, Boy, sir, Baki. Shit talk no me. So Baki Cute ass nigga. solitary confinement. Can't he just break it? Very uncomfortable position. Yeah, Jesus what the Christ. fuck? I can feel his dislocated shoulder from here. So we get a little bit of Guevara's backstory. And no juice. This made an entire army that can kill niggas with just their bare hands. And one dude's already invaded Bush's cat in the goddamn Secret Service. He have done it again. So dude plays his <laughs> video on the TV. God damn, and Secret this Service. Nigga at his house? Oh my god, that's a nigga's wife and kids. Yo, this man is disrespectful as shit. Look at his face right now. You know he's like, oh, you know I'm about to fuck your wife, right? Yo, I didn't know this nigga Bush was in the NTR. But hey, yo, for real though, this gotta be NTR. Like, <laughs> history besides well, yo why is he at your house you know, you know what scene i'm talking about but we ain't talking about that shit here today wait what happened it's forbidden yeah, this wait, game, wait 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 everybody tells me i need to check out berserk everybody's been telling me this you know what i'm saying cj has put us on to a lot of things y'all he's put us on to redo of healer he put us on to tokyo revengers and now he's talking about baki but now you're telling me there's a scene inside of berserk that we need to check out
<laughs> oh man you know, you know what scene i'm talking about but we ain't talking about that shit here today that sh is forbidden he said it's yeah, forbidden so what happened y'all out of his entire i want to know force and took a whole I'm gonna check it out of his house uh uh bro that 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 that's one of the most disrespectful moments i've ever seen so later on the warden is talking about taking out mike because they don't want him coming back to the boxing world after getting out of prison so it's actually mike tyson are you getting paid for this mike again i'm asking again the lip hold on who are, they, are those what females the hell is this these oompa loompa ass niggas in unison and shit oh hell no nah, bro so they bring mike outside and they start jumping this nigga in unison i've never seen motherfuckers jump a nigga up. so precisely so, so they precisely they had that shit to an equation jesus Christ. yo can y'all stop fucking up my guy mike tyson bro Damn. Before you bite off y'all ear. Him out. Oh my gosh, bro. This might be the most brutal jumping in anime history. And that man is gone, bro. Kind of thick. Y'all seen that? Right before they about to slice his ass up, this man Gavar comes out of nowhere, rolling out like Samus in morph ball form. So three oompa loompas surround his ass. What the was that, whips bro? Out his dick and starts pissing on him. Oh! Yo, this nigga really just whipped out his shit and took a piss on him. Motherfucker, like, I was marking my territory. So then they just started stomping his ass out. <laughs> what? He is built different. He whipped his dick out. How big was it, though? But dude got up from that like a zombie. Then dude powers up on some Jack Sparrow Pirates of the Caribbean type shit. I like him. Oh, that came rolling dead, out. Dead, bro. Send his ass to high heaven and back down to earth. Up into his eyes. Nigga pissed his pants. You he pissed your pants? You think you don't want to get away from him? He just rolled out, bro. Nigga pissed his pants. And then other homie just sat in the corner. He just said, nah, gee, I'm done. So later, I would have done the same the thing. Cell while they're chatting it up. This big nigga biscuit busts up in the damn room and he's like, hey, yo, Gavar. He didn't open Gavar, the door. Nigga. So while they're talking, Baki tries to intervene, but he gets his shit. So then Biscuit pulls out this handkerchief that uh, apparently is his fine ass girlfriend's handkerchief. And apparently the nigga loves to smell the fragrance on that bitch. But this man Wait. spits on that shit. <laughs> he ruined it. Yeah, this man is that so nigga floated, bro. So he floated, bro. Fight, we get to see what Biscuit's girl looks like. Is she just fat? Some shadows of her. And we don't get to see much, but she has a very nasty ass attitude because she's throwing shit at him she threw the whole bottle of crown at that nigga oh damn Don't be wrong y'all yo this man biscuit is a savage but yo this man is down bad horrendous he is yo, he's getting shit thrown at him bro what the, the fuck here to watch this the number one and number two about to throw down so then biscuits coming out with this big ass bed and everybody's like hey yo no way this could actually be her we actually get to see what she looked like even the one is like hey yo no way he actually brought her out so we all thinking all right y'all she gotta be fine as hell she gotta be the baddest chick we probably i think she's seen. fat bro well, uh... yeah i knew i <clears throat> i had a feeling she was fat bro i had a feeling she was fat bro okay. Ain't she like it. She's a bed herself. Be deceiving me right now. Ain't no way she need to get on that show where they had to lose that weight, bro. Like yeah, that shit, bro. Chicken. Oh my god, nigga, the bitch is the bed. Yeah, I just said that, CJ. Stop taking my jokes. Not I'm not sick of it. Seen an anime, I'm about to copyright the fuck out this now. We could call him a big ass simp, ultra simp, but hey, hey, who gonna check that nigga though? Not me. I mean, look at dude. He busted out of his tuxedo and it's still standing. It's there. still standing, Behind bro. That mound of a beluga. No, let me stop myself. Let me stop myself. No, no fat shaming, CJ. That's not good in 2022. And the first one to take their hand off the cloth loses. This low key is the weirdest way to throw down, but fuck it, I'm all here for it. So the ball socks him, but yo, this man is gripping the cloth with his pinky and his. Thumb. That's a strong ass uh, strength I've ever seen. Yeah. So Gavar continues mm -hmm. to tee off on Biscuit, but then he grabs his head and slaps that nigga into the ground. So while Baki's watching this, he's getting pissed off. He's like, bro, I ain't trying to watch those niggas play a game with a damn handkerchief. So this man goes to Biscuit's girlfriend's bed and starts sleeping with her. Oh my god. Man. This nigga Baki. <laughs> This man Baki has no chill because that is some shit I would do. Watch my caca. That is some shit I would do, bro. That is some shit 
I would do just to be petty. That is some funny shit, bro. He said, uh, I'm gonna go lay with this bitch. What can she do? She can't even get them off him. Her fucking arms are too short. It's like a damn Tyrannosaurus Rex. Like, she's like, get off me, Baki. Like, what the fuck are you gonna do? She can't move, bro. She's literally immobile. Like, look at her. Look at her fat ass. She can't move, bro. She can't move. She can't move Baki off her and she can't eat her own food. She has to be spoon fed. All right. Let me stop before I get canceled. You know what I'm saying? You know cancel cultures love to cancel me. Bet and start sleeping with her. Oh my God. Man, use the bed on top of the bed. So they just man, lose the, the bed on top of the that. bed. So this man is so pissed off. He whacks this nigga so far. He cracks into the wall. And Damn. everybody's like, hey, yo, bro, that nigga is dead. But we all know Guevara has like some zombie mode. You no, know, the man's a pirate, so he's gonna be on some Davy Jones locker type shit. So some now Davy they start Jones locker. Swinging. Damn. Oh Lady my gosh. Like flower. So he gets up and he ends up landing a kill shot. And it seems like the fight is over. So President Bush is there and, and this nigga Yujiro is here. And How did he get there? So Why is he like, always in places that wrong. this nigga? All that shit that just played out was a dream. Cause that nigga got knocked the yeah. out. Nigga shit is as straight as a board. And everybody's like, damn, he really just violated that nigga. So he picks up his mattress and takes off. So as we cut away from the prison for a bit, the <laughs> president is driving. But yo, you're like, wait a minute. Why is the president driving? And then you see this nigga, Yujiro, is in the back in seat. <laughs> Oh, sloppy, sloppy, Yo, this nigga sloppy, dead ass made sloppy, the president sloppy. his butler. So after the fight, the second coming of the booty warrior just left. So yeah, this man Gavar just dug a big ass hole and just escaped out that bitch. So now we go to the next morning and it's time for roll call. And while the CEO is talking, this man Baki says, uh, excuse me, uh, can I go take a step outside? And everybody like, I know this nigga is not talking right now. Bro, Baki, Baki is funny, bro. Fuck that nigga. And do the stage in the whole prison break. Man is out here dodging bullets. <laughs> And just dropping all the guards like it's nothing. So everybody so left, and now Baki wants to leave. Surrounded. So the warden's like, hey, yo, bro, uh, what the fuck you think you're doing? You really think you about to escape this shit? Baki says, uh, <laughs> shit, I already did, nigga. So he ended up breaking dude's glasses in a flash. Like, no, you didn't even see that shit. And all the guards surrounding them, holding them up at gunpoint? Yeah, he took their buttons off. So Baki's like, yeah, y'all niggas are my hostages now. So he tells the warden to put his arm around him and walk him out. So they walk him out, and right as he he gets outside of the prison he's like okay y'all can take me back now <laughs> dog that is embarrassing he has six niggas holding him up <laughs> baki is on timing i love him baki's my favorite character right now he did all that just to go right back in just to show these niggas who oh, really the boss and it's baki well, i fuck with baki i like baki i want baki mm. 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 Who said that? Walk him out. So they walk him out, and right as he gets outside of the prison, he's like, okay, y'all can take me back now. <laughs> Dog. That is embarrassing. This man just be playing, six bro. Niggas holding him up back. It's all a game to him. He made them all his bitch and straight up walked out the prison. So then Biscuit pulls up, and dude is actually offended by this. So dude tells the warden to take off his cuss because he wants to run the hands with him right now. But then, yo, this man Baki started talking so much shit. This nigga said, Grab some food and try again. Yo, yo! Everybody like, hey, yo, this nigga did not just say that shit. And yo, this man is pissed. Oh, he's pissed. He's, he has face veins now. Oh my right God, now. he has so every that, vein in his body. Knees, he gets thrown in solitary confinement. So while he's in solitary confinement, Biscuit comes in his cell, starts talking shit to him. Then he whips out his shit and hey, pisses on him. Why is everybody pissing on people? Yo, what is niggas pissing on niggas? Exactly. Oh, that might be one of the most disrespectful things I have ever seen. He took a whole leak on that nigga. But after that, Baki just starts laughing at his ass. He like, damn You're nigga, you a his bitch. Mouth. You got to piss on a nigga that's chained up? Damn, that's sad, bro. So later on, Biscuit comes back to Wasella. He's like, all right, we going to fight in two weeks. But Baki's like, nah. Fuck that, we fighting right here, right now. Just Do kicks dude in his face. So Biscuit's like, all right, little nigga, let's play then. So he slaps the f out his ass. Dude got sent through a whole ass wall. So then he busts out the tuxedo. He's like, all right, little boy. I'm Stop doing that. Ass. How does he so keep Bucky doing that? Punch him in the gut, but he grabs it and drags his ass through the wall. Then he swung him like a towel and speared him through the Damn. Hell. What and the dogs fuck? just beat the hell out of him. 
Baki, get up. Why do you keep... Do you not see this man? And just eating all that, bro. And just threw him like a rag doll across the floor. But then you see Baki spring up and there it is. That damn that demon, demon back. back. And mm. that's where Biscuit knew. That plot armor about to kick it real nice. So he ended up flipping him over and you couldn't even see it. The warden literally had to pull out the instant replay to see that shit. So then Biscuit decided to get in morph ball form. Yo, what is up with niggas mimicking Samus in this? So Baki throws a punch, but he blocks it and he ends up trying to eat this nigga on some Pac-Man type shit. So then he spits him out and then tries to do it again. But Yo, Baki what is going on? This nigga, oh and God. He's having the nose bleed of a lifetime. So then they face off and Baki's just ready to throw the hands at this point. Straight up one-on-one -on -one fist fight, no holds barred. So they okay. just start blasting going okay. for punch for punch over okay. and over and over again. But Baki ends up pushing him back in the nigga rock. Baki won? Damn, he really did that shit. Bro, Good knocked shit, him out cold. Baki. He even had his girlfriend come and get up. Bro, How'd she stand up? How'd ass. she stand up? The biscuit picks up his mattress and, and walked away. This is a good Baki is a free man. So at the end of the season, Yujiro figures out that Baki beat Unchained, and now Baki is the biggest threat to him. But at the end, we see this dude stuck in ice. Now, I don't know who exactly this is, but I've heard of his name before. Something to do with... Forgot the pickles! <gasps> Yeah, that was Baki Beyond Scared Straight. And that concludes our tour of the Arizona State Prison. Oh, but nigga, you think we done with prison? <laughs> nah, because we're going to Green Dolphin Street next. Because it's getting real spicy up in there. But anyways, uh, uh, before I forget, I got a little big announcement real quick. So, uh, Second channel. Boy made a second channel. Yes, sir. I'm actually dropping the first vid tomorrow at the same time. So, yeah, I'm going to put the link in the description if y'all want to check it out. I already know. Yeah, you can see my black ass two days straight. But anyways, though, God bless y'all. And I'm out this way. Hey, shout out to CJ. Uh, we got some games on the way for y'all. And if y'all don't like them, then y'all can fall. Because we ball. All right. Yeah. <laughs> that was CJ the Champ. Beyond Scare Straight Baki Edition. Look, y'all. Y'all like stuff like this. Y'all like my reaction to CJ the Champ. Go ahead and hit that like button. And yes, we are going to be gaming together. We have a lot of stuff coming up. I'm moving very soon. Just believe in the vision. If y'all really rocking with me, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe. Turn that bell. Check out the second channel. Link is in the description. I'm I'm actually really thinking on posting gameplay here or on the second channel i think i'm gonna use the second channel as the gaming channel like it was originally supposed to be but i kind of like just stopped doing gaming altogether. if y'all want me to post stuff on the second channel get the second channel to 10 thousand subscribers and i'll start posting gameplays and there's gonna be a lot of gameplays with cjd champ trust me i promise me and cj got a lot of stuff going on and shout out to sensei too we're going crazy internet city too hey, everybody we're going crazy man if you enjoyed this hit the like button subscribe turn the bell and i'll see you next one peace thanks for watching